So today I'm going to show you how I make my five month old some baby cereal using breast milk and a Farley's biscuit. I apologize if you hear my baby or my toddler in the background, but they are playing while I get this ready. So first things first, uh, make sure you have a bottle warmer or just you could even defrost. If you're using breast milk, defrost it in some hot water or use the baby warmer. And if you, you can use this also with formula, with just regular boiled water, or as I am doing, you can use breast milk. So because I don't have fresh breast milk, I do not usually pump unless I need to because my five month old is still exclusively breastfed. So luckily I do have some frozen milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frozen milk, turn my bottle warmer on, so I just press it to its hottest setting and then I will take my breast milk and put it in and I leave it there until it is done warming and what I will do in the meantime is take one of my Farley's biscuits okay so I already actually broke this in half to give it to him last night so I'm just going to use this half but regularly they come like this and what I love about these is when your kid is a little bit more developed, you can give them, like, the cookie just on its own. But for now, because this is actually my second time feeding him, I'm going to put it into the breast milk mixture to make sure he has extra nutrients and it's easier for him to digest and swallow. So I take half of it and I'm going to crumble it up just in, like, little bits and pieces. Just while we wait for the breast milk to warm up, this makes it easier to crush with the spoon if it's already pre-crumbled. And now that my milk is done defrosting, as you can see, it's quite warm. I like to make it extra warm because I know that it needs to dissolve the biscuit. And if I make it extra warm, then I can just allow it to cool down. So it's not a problem. As you can see, I'm just going to pour it in. And honestly, I don't usually know exactly how much breast milk I use per cookie. But I just go until it is completely dissolved and into a watery-like texture. I will show you guys the finished result. But as you can see, you need to like mash it up, you need to give it time to dissolve, you need to do everything. Honestly, the reason why I love this so much more than the um, like the mixes that you would typically get and just add water or breast milk to as well, is these come in biscuit form. So I find that they are more convenient because you can just grab one and throw it in a Ziploc bag, take it with you and if there's no mess like there's no is the powder spilling everywhere is it i just find them convenient i find them cleaner and i don't know about the flavor but i have two kids now a two-year-old and a five-month-old and my two-year-old loved it and it allowed me to give it to him as his first food and then as um as a base for adding other different flavors like you can put some sweet potato in you can put beans, you can put chicken, you can add whatever you want to it. I do though recommend that if you're adding flavors that you be aware that, see the one that I got is the banana flavor, so it's really yummy for him. But I would think you need to keep that in mind if you're adding different flavors so that you're not making an odd flavor for them. But yeah, because they do have this I think only in banana or original. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the grocery stores that I go to, I have only actually ever seen banana or original. Okay, so this is done, and what I'm just going to do is put this in my refrigerator so that I can use it, like, today. I do, I give them two feeds a day, so I'll probably have to dispose of some of it, but some of this I can actually use for his next feed. And then, as you can see... This is the texture I got. So, like, 
I'm going to keep messing around with it a bit before I give it to him because you just, I don't know, like, I find that when you're giving them their first feed, first or second feed, at about five months rather than six, seven, eight months, they can really start gagging if it is too clumpy, so I like to make it as smooth as possible. I guess ideally you could even put this, like, with one of those little hand blenders. You could, but it's really not that serious. So, yeah, that's about it. You make it, I make it this watery, and I find that as he starts practicing his swallowing, I can make it thicker. And more, obviously. But they say that at about five months old, your baby only needs about two tablespoons of food. So, basically, I just feed him. For a few minutes just to introduce it it's really not to fill them up and yeah there we go so that is using the Farley's biscuits and breast milk but as you would do it if you were using formula same way except you would make a couple ounce or an ounce or so of formula like make it as you were putting it in a bottle and put the biscuit in and pour the milk on top just use as much as you need to to dissolve it into the consistency that you want based on how old your child is. Thanks for watching, guys.